So here we are at the home page for SuperSaver, and uh, what I want to do here is show you how to go ahead and submit a deal from the front end. So first I'm going to do is log in as a vendor over here. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as my vendor account, and I'm going to go ahead and put in my password here. Now you need to be in a vendor account for this. If you have an administrative account on, on, on this site, um, don't. You don't want to be in your administrative account. You want to be in a vendor account for this. So I'm here in the vendor's account and uh, I've logged in and you see I do not have the administrative taskbar. I just have the standard black taskbar that we see right up here. And now if you're an admin, you're just going to have my profile and log out. You're not going to have all of these other items right here. Um, but as a vendor you do and you can click here to go to the vendor dashboard now <clears throat> the, uh, to go ahead and submit a new deal um, you want to go ahead and you can click either here submit a new deal or up here you can click submit a new deal and that will go ahead and take you to the new deal form and I'm going to go ahead and give this a title of let's just say um, test deal number two I'm just going to say test deal two. There we go. For description, I will go ahead and add in some, oops, go ahead and add in some placeholder text here. Control V. Then down here, for a shorter description, I may not want such a long description, so I'm going to remove some of this text so that we have a much shorter description here. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a cover image. I can come over here and select files um, from my local computer. I can also, if I've already uploaded some files, I can go ahead and look and see what I've uploaded in the media library. We see we have some already uploaded here, so I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here and click use this file. And now we've got our cover image uploaded. Um, I, if I have some more gallery images to load, I could go ahead and load those right down here, um, right below the main image, but I don't have any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click Next. It's going to go ahead and ask me to give a start date for the deal. And if I come over here all the way to the right, I'll get the date picker. And I'm going to go ahead and select that we're going to start the deal today, but we will expire the deal here at the end of August. And for the regular price, let's say the regular price on this particular item is $75 and I'll make the deal price $50. Now if you want deals to, deal vouchers to expire after they're purchased, you can say, okay, well these are only good for 30 days after they're purchased. You would go ahead and enter those number of days here. Um, and here if also, if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to have a minimum amount of sales, um, saying that you want a, a minimum, you know, you want to at least sell 20 of these, or you, you know, the deal's not valid, then you can go ahead and do that here as well. Generally speaking, most people will probably not use these two particular settings right here, and they're both optional. You can leave them blank. Deal items, so this is how many items are available for purchase, so this is how many deals can go ahead and be purchased. I'm just going to go ahead and put 100 here. And then you can have deal item vouchers. So if you want to serve predefined vouchers instead of random generated ones, random generated ones, input them here on uh, one in a row and make sure that you have the same amount of these vouchers as the number of items. Pretty self-explanatory. So if, for instance, I want to do custom vouchers, you know, I could do voucher 1001 and then go voucher one. 2002, etc. But here I would need to be sure to input a hundred of these so that I would have my custom voucher numbers right there. But if you don't, if you leave them blank, the system will just automatically generate a random voucher number. So I'm going to go ahead and click next and it's going to ask me for some information here. Where's the deal location? Let's say this is in Eugene. Which category do I want to list it under? I'll list it under health and wellness. And then I will need to go ahead and enter a location down here on the map. So I've got the address of a uh, post office here in Eugene that I'm going to use for test purposes. I'm going to go ahead and come in here, press paste. Here we go. Go ahead and select this. 
Okay, It may take a minute for that to come down. If it does, that's completely normal. But you'll get a drop down, and it will show you the. It will show you. It will go, and it will send that information out to Google Maps, and it will find that information. Go ahead and place it in here. You need to select that drop down, and then it will go ahead and zoom in on the map in the location that you've placed. Then go ahead and click submit. Then it will go ahead and submit and save the deal. Now to go ahead and see the deal, we can come over here uh, and click on My Items, and that will take us over here and show us exactly what items that we currently have in the system. All right, and here is our new deal, our test deal two. We see we've got 33% savings, 50% off. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, open it up, and here we are. We've got our description, we've got our seller info, how many deals have been purchased. Over here under Map and Directions, we're located here on our map in Eugene. Perfect. And uh, be the friend over here, we, they, we, people can leave a review if they want to. We come over here to Shop, and before, where we had five deals in the G Eugene area, now we have six. Let's go ahead and see if we can locate our deal here. Oops, so premier detailing, pizza, sandwich shop, come up here, and here's our test deal too that we just placed in right here now on the map. So um, be sure to be logged in, as I said before, be sure to be logged in as a vendor um, to go ahead and uh, and sub make submissions from the front. If you're an administrator, you'll want to get these set up from the back um, and submitting them. And in the back, setting the location on the map is a little different in the back. So um, anyway, if you have any other questions, just let us know. Thanks. Bye.